We think it's going to win. Tweet either hashtag TDK win or hashtag DIG win. We'll see how the fan vote stands in just a few minutes. Sarah for the rest of his team. Equally, the, the attempts you're seeing, you know, well played lane harass and well played. Oh, the hook! That was amazing. The ignite is on. Seraph could not possibly live through this one. The first blood goes through to the Thresh and Smoothie with a great hook on a core JJ. Being pulled. Dignitas spending a lot of time down there. Now it's to the bottom lane. Core JJ gets the lantern just in time. Gets stunned up though. Looks like Valkyrie gonna do nothing. The kill goes through to Emperor. An amazing explosive cast by Kez. Mix Kiwi can flash, but here oh. comes Gansu. Gonna knock Kez right back into the turret. Gets the kill. A one for one. All said and done. Play it being a more comfortable environment for many of the players to be here. It all makes some pretty big differences. Kez at the forefront of these engages. Feeling really happy. A lot of burst damage coming across. The Kiwi Kid will still get picked off. Just a further chase by TDK is gonna work out. Emperor to go back to that slightly more reserved style. This year, good push on towards the Dragon. They're going to get that one cleanly, and they walk right on out. Team Dignitas, not even... Team Dignitas has to spend a little bit longer to clear the waves, and this is the first time they're getting a turret edge taking an interior turret. But will Team Dignitas be able to punish? They're all about getting the proper flanks. That's how they've been able to win their games, oh. and they're flanking now, Freak. Flashhook's going to miss, but he has the flame. He wants Kez, and looks like the answer is he does. Flash away, body some and Helios blocks it, though. Gets the knock, but TDK does get the kill. They're sorry, Dignitas gets the kill onto TDK. DK's jungler, and the chase continues. Gravity Field comes back off a cooldown used with the dive in towards Ninja. Nice Hemo plank to push back Kiwi Kid, and Dignitas do not want to continue this fight. Him, and there's the push in for the Dragon. Top lane turret does go down, but Dragon number two cleanly goes over to Team Dragon Knights. The gold once again tied as the turrets are nearly equalized here. Late Scrying Orb, that's a 3,000 health Baron. He's gonna go. Yep. TDK's gonna have to rush in for fight. Well, the knockup's gonna land on the two carries of TDK. Sorry, I'll keep digging the house, keep getting it backwards, but the hook comes in. Kiwi Kid has already died. Back on by TDK. This would be a time to fight, though, for the third dragon. And here's the Sephiroth pop right on the Kiwi Kid. They go. One more hit will kill him. The Boomerang Blade's gonna miss, though. And in comes Gamsu, finds Emperor. The 80 carry goes down. His first of the season. And as the battle continues, Soldier's in the right spot. A knockup onto Seraph, but he's a pretty durable Vladimir with all this spell vamp. No second. Need cooldowns for that one. The dragon attempt. Ooh, no steal for Kez. He's got to be a bit careful. Already at half. Gamsu, of course, cannot charge in. Just get the lantern out. Dragon safely to Team Dignitas. And TDK is going back to mid to clear. But Dignitas not really done. Still looking forward. Gamsu wants it. Finds some damage to the server. Loses all his health for Gamsu. Forced to ult away from the fight. And in comes the hard engage. Core JJ gets dropped. These AD carries constantly dying. Seraph the back line pops. Azonia stays alive. In comes Helios. Oh, wow. Bunch of damage from Shifter. Cleaning up the fight, but he's the only guy left alive on the team. Nice oh. Q by Emperor. Takes him down. How's that for Emperor's Divide? And TDK win the fight. Core can't defend. Four seconds on Corky. Kiwi Kid's alive, but he's not going to go for 1v3. What a great fight. TDK turned it around after they see the dragon to Dignitas. And right afterwards, but oh, wow. Dignitas, this. This may be a bit too bold because oh, yeah. TDK is right here. The hook comes in. They find Kiwi Kid. Maybe not the worst target. They got Ninja. Ninja goes down. Core JJ is still alive, but Kez and the Vladimir are here. Core JJ will get himself killed. Emperor joins the fray as well, but it's still a couple of kills back and forth. The two for two. Seraph going to get dropped easily by Shifter. Somehow, Team Dignitas puts all five of their team members within the Baron pit and win a fight. Two to three. The Baron, of course, is still up, but the catalyst was the Baron to begin. A lot of damage going through. Dignitas must know about this. A lot of words coming down. They're 4, not in the right health. position to fight. They can try and steal, but they need time. Now they're going for the fight. Blue team is laying for an action. That goes to Team Dragonites, and right on top of it they go. Gamsu taking a lot of damage, but Lantern right back out. Core JJ locked up, can't QSS. Will try to kite away Seraph, and he's still oh. gonna go down. Two kills picked up for TDK. Make that three. Seraph does get killed, but it's a four for one with Minute Hip dead and Baron. Seraph did so much work in that fight. The Sivir Ultimate is up in these long death timers, plus the Baron buff could mean TDK's first win of the split. Well, you said it'd be a hard road. Maybe nine wins required to make playoffs. Well, they're going to start with their new lineup with a win right off the bat. They knock Team Dignitas down a peg. TDK going to get their first win on the board, and maybe the miracle season has begun. With the new roster, these guys are undefeated. Oh, hold up! The inhibitor respawns! The inhibitor didn't respawn! It's not over yet! <laughs> and Team Dignitas is reviving, maybe? Oh, no. They can't. It yeah, can't they possibly. Can. They got it. Okay. Well, everyone throws for a loop. Again, TDK with the new lineup, fresh start.
kind of one and zero. <laughs> What if the miracle season happens? Yeah, that would be quite the story. That's a nice way to welcome Ninja and Emperor to the team is with a win over a 7-2 team, Vingatos, who was just a half game out of first place before this game. Emperor 5, 1, and 10, but even though Seraph had the 2, 4, and 8 scoreline, he had so many outplays of Team Dignitas in that Baron fight. Yeah. Just pooling right around and underneath the pretty much every spell that Team Dignitas threw at them, mm -hmm. killing Core JJ again and again. Yeah, I really like how TDK came in with this lineup. Now, we knew at the beginning of the split, this was a lineup they were practicing with. They didn't practice with the sub squad. These guys were, they were in North America, work eligible or not, Emperor and Ninja were still playing with the roster from the US and, and waiting until their eligibility came through. This team looked pretty well practiced. The team comp was good. They, they covered the fact that Vlad would be low mobility in the top lane by having a sivir on the